January 29th is the 10th annual Bell Let's Talk Day. This year's theme is Every Action Counts. Earlier, earlier this week, rather, on social media, I shared my personal story. Take a look. I have what on the outside looks like a pretty good life, but this time last year, all I could feel was sad. And if I'm being totally honest, I'd been in that dark place for a long time since my older son was born. I needed help. So I literally Googled therapists in my area, I found a psychologist, and I can tell you today, I'm a different person. I feel like me again. I think we have this idea we're supposed to have it all figured out, and that is so not true. I do not have it all figured out. I'm a work in progress, but what I've learned over the last year is that I am a person worth working on. You are too, and there is no shame in that. Yeah, so it's, it's hard to share. It's yeah. hard to share that. It's hard to watch it. There's so many things I want to say, but what I've learned most importantly over the last 10 years of talking about mental health is that today it is still really, really hard mm. to say I need help. And when I did, I felt scared. I felt embarrassed. I felt like a ma major failure and a fraud. Um, that phone call to book the appointment was the hardest thing I've ever done. I called and this poor receptionist gets on the phone and I'm like sobbing <laughs> as I'm booking the appointment. But the, the difficulty doing that, the discomfort was so worth it because I got to therapy and it turns out I wasn't broken. I wasn't, uh, there wasn't something wrong with me. I wasn't sick. I was a normal person having a normal reaction to a, a set of life circumstances. My therapist gave me coping mechanisms, strategies to work through things. and. I was able to acknowledge and honor what I was feeling and not be held hostage by it anymore. If you're comfortable, can you share how um, that process came where you said, you know, you realize that you are a person worth working on? Was that something that you sort of always knew but had to get to, or was it a, a, a realization, a, an epiphany, a eureka moment? It absolutely was a eureka moment, and it was through talking with my, my psychologist because I looked at everyone else, I looked at you three, and I thought, man, they have their life together, and what's mm. wrong with me? Well, how, how, how do I not have it all figured out? And I realized, no, everyone's doing the work. Whether the work is a good night's sleep and a workout, whether it's having a great group of friends, whether it's going to support groups, uh, addiction counseling groups, a therapist, or it's taking medication, yeah. everyone is doing that work. Or all of the above. Or all yeah. of the above. Yeah. Yeah. And you Absolutely. know, where you are on that spectrum can change through your life, and that's okay too. Yeah. I was a person, a teenager who, and in my 20s, who was so positive and so enthusiastic, and all of a sudden, I became a mom, and that changed for me, and that was mm -hmm. the big thing that changed. And that's okay too, and I, I've forgiven myself for that. That I, I, I wasn't always a person who didn't suffer, I've forgiven myself for that, and that was a big step too. If you recognize yourself in anything that I've just said, know that you are worth it. You are worth working on, you are worth making that phone call as hard as it is, just do it. Take that action, because you will never regret it. I promise you, you'll never regret it. Yeah, part of the special that will air on Bell It's Talked Away, which is a reminder, is January 29th, is about taking action. So we've been talking for 10 years, lots of awareness, lots of breakdown of stigma, but as you mentioned, Kels, there's still some fear and some hesitancy and, and, and resources. So yes, you can pick up the phone to call. I've made that call for other people, for myself, for people in my family and other friends. And you won't just go at one time in your life. If you've reached out for help, there's chances that you're gonna need it two, three, 10 times in your life. Also, that is okay. So one of the things we focus on now in Canada, in this country, is lack of resources. Right. And what we can do to move that forward to make sure that when people need help and they want to pick up the phone, that there is help for them mm -hmm. on the other side, stuff that they can access well. So part of that special, and we'll address some of that, it starts at seven o'clock on Wednesday on Bell Let's Talk Day. But as a reminder, you can participate mm -hmm. the entire day. Yes. Uh, five cents for every text, tweet, and view of videos on our Facebook or Instagram page and on YouTube. Uh, also, five cents, in case you didn't know, for all the young people out there, five cents for using every Bell Let's Talk filter on Snapchat. All of that is money that goes towards resources. And no five cents for the cereal challenge on TikTok. Right. Do something good with your time on yes. social media. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.